Hey guys, TechEKHD here again with another video, and today I have my top 5 Cydia tweaks for iOS 8. Now it's been a little while since I've made one of these videos, and recently I've been getting a couple of questions uh, about what are some of the latest tweaks you're using on your iOS 8 running iPhone 6. Um, now obviously that's not how the questions are phrased, but that's the gist of what I've been asked. Uh, so today I decided to make this video for you guys and show you guys really what it is I am using uh, on my iPhone 6 as of late in regards to Cydia tweaks. Uh, so let's actually get started. Now the first one I'm going to be showing you is actually pretty interesting. Um, this is a tweak that I've been using for a little while now and I find it uh, decently useful uh, and it's just an aesthetic tweak to be honest and that is it's called quartz settings. Now basically what it does is takes your wallpaper from the back. Now you can see I have this purple themed wallpaper right here and what it does is it creates a settings background wallpaper uh, sort of aesthetic look to your settings application based off of that. Uh, now I think that it looks pretty cool, it unifies iOS 8 a little bit more, it makes everything a little bit more transparent and see through um, the way Apple really designed this to be, which is one of the things that I find interesting. Now. Uh, what you guys can see here is if you go down into settings there is actually a little settings panel here that you can adjust and here it is quartz. Uh, now of course you can disable it and you can preview what things are going to look like but there's also themes. Now Black Panther is a pretty interesting one. If I hit preview here as you guys can see it makes everything black and red which looks pretty cool. Uh, Panda is, is black and white for the most part and sky view is blue uh, and I think that looks pretty cool and that is if, of course if you're not really interested in the wallpaper uh, in the application using the wallpaper. Uh, so that is that. Now that was actually uh, Quartz. Now the next theme, or rather the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys here is actually called Eclair. Now Eclair is an interesting tweak because it allows you to do something that a lot of people have wanted to do for a while. Uh, now basically what it is, is think of you uh, think of yourself, you know, on Instagram or something, uh, and you are, you know, going through and liking photographs uh, of things that, you know, maybe you should and maybe you shouldn't be liking. Uh, but you do, and then you notice that somebody's coming and you quickly lock your device. Uh, now, you realize that that saved you for the moment, but then you forget about it for a little while and you decide to open up your phone again and the person's still there that you didn't want to see what you were doing. Now, when you unlock your device, it's still going to be there. But what Eclair allows you to do is when you unlock your device, it takes you straight back to the home screen, uh, which is very useful, especially in this particular scenario. And that's really what Eclair does. Of course, there are you can terminate the application if you'd like, so it just closes it out, or it just exits out and keeps it running in the background like it normally does in iOS 8. So there's a bunch of little things that you can play with over here in the application, and I think that that's pretty useful. Uh, and for that, and this tweak is actually only 99 cents, so I think it's a pretty good value for what it does, especially for people who would require something of this sort. Alright guys, so the next tweak here, uh, number three that I'm going to be showing you guys is actually called custom status bar. Now through the time of this video you guys might have noticed that my status bar doesn't really have a carrier logo. Now I'm actually currently on T-Mobile and that is my carrier, uh, but of course you can see I have it hidden. Now back in the day there used to be a tweak called clean status bar that used to do something like this and I like to have my status bar pretty clean. So this is what custom status bar allows you to do. And of course you can download it from City and then you can choose out of all of these different options the different things that you would like to hide. For example if you set an alarm at night, uh, or in fact let me turn on one of my alarms right now, uh, when you turn on an alarm for 4.05 a.m., which is a ridiculous time, uh, but you guys can see there is a little clock that comes up at the top right. Now you do have an alarm set, but let's say you just want to hide that, what you can do is turn on alarm, uh, and then you're just going to come down here and respring your device, which is not something I want to do right now. Uh, but that's really what's going to, it's basically just going to hide that little clock. Now before I forget, I'd like to turn off this alarm because I think it's going to be pretty horrible uh, if I wake up tomorrow morning at 4.05 a.m. for no particular reason. Uh, but that of course was custom status bar and you actually saw the next week that I'm going to be showing you guys um while I was showing you the last one, and that is called iSwitch. Now this is an interesting tweak because what it allows you to do is interface with an application uh and open up your app switcher at the same time. Now if I've double tapped my app switcher here, I can actually continue to use Instagram in the background, like my photos. 
but also see the other apps that I have open and running and switch to one of them right here. So I can tap on music and it's going to take me straight to music to one of my favorite songs that I'm listening to right now. And that is called The End by uh, Logic, which is definitely something you should listen to if you enjoy rap. So that, of course, was iSwitch. And this is what brings us to our last tweak for today. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the last tweak I'm going to be showing you guys today. Number five. Uh, now, this is a tweak that's pretty interesting. It's a lock screen tweak. And what it allows you to do is actually view your music controls as well as your clock at the same time. Now, there have been many times that you're probably sitting there listening to your favorite song on Spotify or iTunes. Uh, my current favorite being The End by Logic. Uh, you should probably listen to that if you like rap. It's a good song uh, with a pretty sick beat, actually. But that's besides the point. Now, you're listening to your song and you lock your device and then you unlock it and all you see is your music controls and you want to see the time and then you have to fully unlock your device and look at this little thing right there and it's pretty annoying. Um, so this is an easy way to get around that and this tweak is called Fuse and what it does is kind of what the name suggests. It fuses both of those different pieces of functionality together and brings you this where you have your clock at the top and your music controls at the bottom. It's super easy, it's very functional, it's a very light tweak so it just kind of works and I really enjoy that about it. Uh, it's straight to the point, it's useful. Um, it's free, of course, and it's called Fuse, so that's what you guys can definitely download. It works 100% with iOS 8 and is completely tested, just like all of the other tweaks in this video. Um, so yeah, guys, that essentially does it for today's top five city tweaks for iOS 8. Now, if you enjoyed this video, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave it a like rating with a little thumbs up at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And if you guys would like to see more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much more content coming in the very near future, all in high definition, of course, please do remember to subscribe by hitting the little subscribe button right below this video. Uh, also, if you guys would like to leave me any feedback, make sure to follow me on Twitter, uh, the link to which is in the description of this video, and my name there is TechGeekHD, or make sure to leave a comment down there in the comment section of the video if there's something super urgent right about it if you guys need to tell me. Anyway guys, that about does it. Thank you so much for watching again, and have a nice day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.